In the early 2000s, the U.S. Army selected the Northrop Grumman MQ-8B unmanned aerial vehicle for its future combat systems program. As such, the impressive rotary wing drone was assigned to three main types of missions – reconnaissance, attack, and resupply. The UAV can take off and land on narrow ship decks with ease and has an autonomous launch and recovery system that allows it to operate from unprepared sites and remain close to command posts and operations centers on the battlefield. After years of helpful service conducting surveillance and hunting mines, the MQ-8B will evolve into a more advanced successor, and it won't take long to be ready for war. Rotary Wing Drone In the current combat landscape, fixed-wing drones are used all across the globe. Yet the complications in aerodynamics regarding unmanned helicopters have dragged their development. Helicopter drones certainly have considerable advantages against their fixed-wing counterparts. Beyond their ability to take off and land vertically, they also provide strong adaptability to the battlefield. Besides, they have small limits on location and can land on narrow sites and ships. What's more, they have ultra-low and ground-fighting capabilities and are not easy to detect or attack. Unmanned helicopters can also conduct reconnaissance and surveillance of hotspots around the clock, as there is no need to worry about the pilot or potential casualties. Their capabilities englobe a wide variety of tasks, ranging from ground attacks and air combat to missile interception and blunt suicide attacks. Plus, they provide a valuable aiming platform to guide other weapons to execute precision strikes. Back in August of 2003, the U.S. Army chose the Northrop Grumman MQ-8B Unmanned Aerial Vehicle for its Future Combat Systems, or FCS, program, aiming to provide real-time imagery, data collection, and dissemination at brigade level. Based on the Navy's highly successful RQ-8A, the MQ-8B was jointly developed by both services to maximize commonality between the variants. And compared to the first-generation RQ-8A, the MQ-8B has significantly increased capabilities. For one, its fourth rotor blade, coupled with other enhancements such as an upgraded gearbox, enlarged its payload capacity to 600 pounds. The contract for production was signed in 2004, and while the Navy's version flew for the first time in 2006, the Army's didn't fly until 2011. Fire Scout Due to its onboard sensor suite and laser rangefinder and designator, the MQ-8B can detect, locate, identify, track, and designate targets quickly and accurately as well as carry out battle damage assessment. The so-called Fire Scout also retained the original main structure, engine, rotor, and an improved transmission system. And based on the application of 330 helicopters, the drone's shape was optimized to increase its speed, fuel tank, and battery life. Schweitzer supplies the airframe, chip modified and streamlined for aerodynamic purposes based on its triple three manned helicopter. Moreover, the MQ-8B can stay on station for up to six hours at a distance of 110 miles from launch as it has a larger fuel capacity than its predecessor. The vehicle is 23 feet long, while its 27.5 foot diameter rotor is folded for storage and transportation. Powered by a Rolls-Royce Model 250 C20W engine, the drone has a capacity of 313 kilowatts. Another essential feature is the drone's plug-and-play Modular Task Load, or MMP. The basic modular mission payload configuration incorporates an electro-optical infrared, or EOIR, camera, a tactical synthetic aperture radar and moving target indicator, a communications relay package, a training sensor, mine, chemical, and radiological detection, and a laser rangefinder indicator, as well as audio and data communication. On the other hand, Fire Scout has been fitted with the Northrop Grumman Airborne Surveillance and Target Acquisition Minefield Detection System, or ASTAMIDS, since 2008. System applications feature day and night reconnaissance, 
as well as surveillance and target acquisition, in addition to minefield detection. Equipped with multi-sensor electro-optical infrared and multi-spectral imaging systems, Astamids is able to detect patterns surface-emplaced or recently buried mines and randomly scattered mines. ISR The MQ-8B performs mainly three types of tasks – reconnaissance, attack, and resupply. However, the drone can also function as a communications node due to its joint tactical radio systems and the Army's Warfighter Information Network Tactical or WIN-T telecommunications system. It is usually deployed on the littoral combat ship and surface ships as it can easily take off and land on a narrow ship deck. And because it is equipped with 5.5-foot skids, as well as a conventional autonomous launch and recovery system, the UAV can operate from unprepared sites close enough to command posts and operation centers on the battlefield. In order to obtain target information and provide intelligence support for military operations, the Fire Scout can optionally perform MMP to conduct information collection, remote monitoring, target recognition, continuous tracking, communication relay, and several other reconnaissance tasks. In contrast, for executing attacks, MMP not only provides situational awareness, precision strike support, and battle damage assessment, but it can be used to mount Hellfire air-to-ground missiles and Viper strike small open spaces through short wings. Also, the drone's fuselage is fitted with sponsons on each side for carrying pods and weapons, and is able to launch guided bombs and APKWS 70mm laser-guided rockets. Adaptable to fast-paced and high-intensity modern information warfare, while conforming to the non-contact zero-casualties principle, the MQ-8B ultimately balances reconnaissance and attack capabilities, becoming a useful asset for future combat. Unprecedented Advantages The MQ-8B performed considerably well with surveillance and mine hunting, but it's expected that its successor will bring unprecedented advantages. Soon, the Navy's MQ-8C Fire Scout surveillance drone will be ready for war, and it has already embarked on its first deployment, featuring a longer dwell time over targets and expanded ISR capabilities beyond the radar horizon. Operating under U.S. Southern Command, from aboard the USS Milwaukee littoral combat ship, the newest variant of the successful series has already been involved in several counter-narcotics missions, identifying targets and refining data for prosecution. Larger and highly upgraded, the MQ-8C was based on the Bell 407 commercial utility rotorcraft. It also operates high-fidelity maritime sensors to hunt mines and search for enemy ships while sending back real-time video regarding threats and objects of interest outside the visual range. The B Fire Scout performed well enough, but the new C variant has more endurance and an expanded operation window of 10 to 12 hours of on-station time, along with the MQ-8 advanced software. But perhaps more remarkably, MQ-8 Fire Scout Program Manager Captain Eric Soderberg said that this version, quote, allows the system to correlate among the multiple sensors on the platform. One such example is the correlation between radar and EOIR sensor data, notably easing the pilot's workload. Currently, the Navy is progressively phasing in the new model, first to fly alongside its predecessor, but ultimately to replace the B variant altogether. Despite being ready for several years, the upgraded MQ-8C has only recently been deployed because of its new radar system, which will further make it more capable than the MQ-8B, with the enhancement accelerating the transition from one platform to another. As Sutterberg predicted, quote, There is no cliff. It is a gradual drawdown. Transitioning from B to C will happen over the next few years. Thanks for watching our video. If you enjoyed it, please hit the like button, and don't hesitate to subscribe to all our Dark Documentaries channels. And for many more stories about military technology and developments, make sure to click on the bell icon to be notified of our newest content. Stay tuned.